Hello, let's have a talk about fractions. So fractions is something that we come across a lot uh, in, in our life. It's not just about cutting a birthday cake or um, you know, cutting an apple, but it's also uh, looking at the whole year. It's cut into 12 equal pieces, 12 equal pieces. We have got a whole day, um, 12 hours day, 12 hours night time in a way. Uh, there's lots of times when we see fractions. Um, you know, just ask, just asking uh, the question, how much longer do we have to drive? And then you say we're halfway, or we're three quarters of the way. A child might not necessarily understand, unless we've done this, and then they will play around with it, and they will really understand. So let's have a look at this. Uh, introduction to fraction. It's introducing um, the the concept really. Uh, if you have a child. You can ask them if they've come across fractions and you know, where they've seen it before. I'm sure they will know about the birthday cake example. And um, we can cut an apple. So, would you like to see? This is a whole apple. It's one. It's one whole apple. And we can cut it into pieces. Now, we've got two equal parts. Two equal parts. One apple, two halves. See, it's half an apple. And like this, it was a whole apple. So the same we have in the fraction material. We've got a whole, one whole, like one whole apple. And then we have two halves. Just like we have two halves in an apple. So let's cut it a little bit more. Cut this again. So we have equal parts again. Now we have four. Four pieces of apple that put together still make one whole apple. So it's one, and this is four parts of one apple. So four quarters, one quarter. Two quarter, three quarter, and the fourth quarter. And this we can continue forever. We can cut the apple and cut the apple and cut the apple. But we're going to leave it with four parts for now. This we're going to eat up. And there's also the possibility to cut a circle into three equal pieces. So that makes it one third, two thirds, three thirds. Thirds. Or we can cut it into five pieces. Also possible, and they're all still the same. See, they're the same. So this is the top. One, two, three, four. Still one equal part missing. The fifth one. This one. And you will see each time we started with one, we cut it into two pieces three pieces, or into four pieces, or into five pieces, all possible. We could take a circle and we can cut it just here. We just cut a piece off. But see, it's not equal parts, so it's not a fraction. This is not a fraction. If you cut a circle into two pieces, you got two equal pieces, two halves, that make a whole one. Where does the name fraction come from? It comes from the Latin word uh, fractus. Fractus, that means broken. See, all those pieces are broken. But this is not a fraction either, so it's broken. Because you can't divide it equally. See, so this is a way how you could do the first um, presentation of fractions. Introduce it. You've got a real life example of cutting an apple that you can do together with a child. Maybe even the child wants to cut the apple. But the different uh, different concepts, halves, thirds, and so on, and um, something that is not a fraction. Yes. Um, there's another question uh, um, of how this relates to the New Zealand curriculum. So uh, you are expected to know about fractions right from level one to have an introduction, and uh, this way of knowing about fractions 
is almost up to level three already because in level four you're expected to um, relate fractions to decimals or to percentages. Having it like this, really concrete, makes it fairly easy to move on to that. But we leave it like this for now.